Hey, what's up everybody? Angry K9 here, back on Biffa's fan server, and I'm just over here shearing some sheep because I need to get some wool, and I have some red sheep and some black sheep, and I actually have a bunch of gray sheep in here too, dark gray sheep, but I've sheared most of them, and I've turned a lot of them back into black sheep because I need wool to finish off the carpeting in the base. And, of course, today we are going to take a look at the progress that I've made on the base. I have made a lot of progress since the last episode. And I am intentionally, of course, keeping my back to the base for right now. Because I want to... What do I want to do? I want to make some carpeting, of course. And I'm probably still going to need more red than that. I think I'm just about good on the black carpeting. I don't think I even need any more of the gray stuff. I'm not really sure... That may be enough for red. I don't know. Uh, do we have any more red sheep down here? Nope. We've got way too many of these guys packed in here. <laughs> um, they can barely move around. It's a wonder they even regenerate their wool. Um, there's another black one popping up. Ah, there we go. Red one. And I need to make some more. I'm not really sure. I want to get at least a stack of this stuff. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Hi, pigs. Um, I divided this area up so that I could have this little sheep farm over here. Originally, I just had cows and pigs, um, and I broke it up into quads now. Put a bunch of sheep in here and bred a whole bunch of sheep. Now I've got a bunch of sheep in there, more than I need, maybe, I don't know. Uh, a whole bunch of cows, got a lot of food now. Um, I actually killed off all the cows and the pigs that I had in here last time and got myself quite a bit of food. So now I'm eating pork chops instead of chicken. Of course, that was my last one for that round. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, other than that, nothing has really changed except for the base. Like I said, I have made a lot of progress on the base. Um, been doing a lot of mining of the new stone. Mostly diorite and andesite. I've uh, been doing that down there in the bottom of the hole there and exposed some lava. I'm going to have to collect a bunch of that. Make a bunch of buckets and collect a bunch of that. Um, and there are various places around where I have been mining dirt, and uh, I did some over there, and some over there, and there you go. There's the base. Look at that. Look at that. Got the big flying saucer on a stick here. <laughs> Pretty much got the exterior done, at least as far as this part goes. Um, and it's gotten pretty big, and big enough to have its own lighting glitches. Uh, got some lighting glitches. Those areas are not black. There's another one on the other side. It's going to be the same way. At least it was. Yep, see right there. And then there's that stripe there. Don't know why that's doing that. I can't seem to get rid of it. All I do know is I'm going to have to do a lot of lighting up on the ground over here because I have a lot of area down here where mobs just spawn because it's so dark. Um, which is actually kind of fun because it, it makes it interesting. Every time I come out of here, i got to fight mobs. Um, but uh, it's also not so much fun because a creeper had spawned over here the other day and I was down on my sheep farm there um, trying to get some wool and creeper snuck up on me, blew up and killed most of my sheep. So we're going to take a tour of this thing. Um, you can see the inside on the lower level and I still have this crazy water drop here or uh, I should say ender pearl elevator. And you got to go up here. Anyway, sorry about that. Train was going by. Anyway, uh, come up here through the Enderpro elevator. And, of course, we've got the main storage room here. Got all my stuff right here. This is pretty much everything I own right in this little area. And I've got quite a bit of uh, iron and some gold and emerald, lapis. Yay, lapis. A lot of redstone and quite a bit of coal. And uh, I actually found some more diamonds. Look at that. I've got 46. <laughs> 46 diamonds. I'm rich. Woohoo! So let me get rid of the zombie flesh, pick up some food. Gonna go topside and finish off the carpeting. And there is another train coming by. Going the other way. You know, I really need to move away from these railroad tracks. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Times two. Hopefully that's the last one for a while. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So here's a storage area. Next level up. Do, 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 do. It's just an empty room with a bed, and that's it. Uh, don't even have carpeting in here. I'm not really sure if I'm going to carpet this or not. I think I said I was going to. Don't know if I'm going to or not. I might, if I have enough. I, let's see here. I know I need more, actually. Now that I think about it, there is an area 
up here. Uh, and of course, here's another empty room, which it was empty last time. And up in here, we have another empty room where we were actually putting the carpeting down here. So I do need a little bit more gray carpeting. And I think that's just about it as far as gray goes once I get this room done. And I'm going to be one short. <laughs> just gotta love it. So anyway, of course, I've got the steps going up to the next level. Do -do 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 -do. Where I have my enchanting table and I've put some gray carpeting in here. And this room is pretty much done. I added some glass panes under the sea lanterns there. Kind of gives it a nice chandelier or light panel look. I think it looks cool anyway. I really like it. Um, this is actually my favorite room out of the whole thing. I might have to put my bed down here. <laughs> but I'm not really sure. So, of course, then we have this other storage area over here. And I did the same thing with the glass panes. And I don't have anything in any of these chests yet. That's as far as I'm going to go with the gray carpet, too. Um, I kind of like this look here with the uh, cyan stained clay. Then the uh, half slabs and everything. And then this gray carpet in the middle. So I'm going to leave it like that. Eventually, this is going to become my main storage room. A lot of that stuff down there is going to come up here with the valuable stuff I'm going to put elsewhere. Um, and then, of course, we've got this observation deck up here, and I've got the carpeting in here. Um, hopefully this black, red, and gray isn't something bad. Um, I like the way it looks. I think it looks really cool, um, but I don't know about this pattern here. Uh, I like it. I think it looks neat. And it kind of gives me, I don't know about you, but it gives me that kind of cozy feel. <laughs> of course, and I can come over here and I can look out over the world and you can see that nice round shadow we have down there and lots of mobs. We get all kinds of mobs and we've got a lot of Enderman damage down there too. Um, and I just realized that I can build an ice farm right over there, so I'm going to be looking into that. And uh, that's probably going to be a project coming up soon. Um, <laughs> I could have used an ice farm not too long ago. And I'll show you why in just a second. Next level up is my main room here. And this is where I needed all that red carpet so I can finish it off. I think I need a little bit of black carpeting up here as well. And uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm just lining this area all the way around the edge here with red. And then just coming right down like that. And I think I am... <laughs> nope, need more. Ran out. Go figure. So I've got plenty of black carpeting here. Hopefully that's enough to finish it off. I think this is all that I needed right here was just this little area right here. And uh, I think that'll finish off. Hey, finish off the black carpeting, but I still need a bunch of red carpeting. And I did it again. Get that out of there. Yeah, so this is, of course, the same pattern as the level below it, which, eh, you know, it is is what it is. But uh, I still have work to do in those areas over there. And, of course, I have this stairwell going up to the top level, but we'll see that in a second. Um, as you can see, that's that stairwell. Out here, I've got a lot of space over here I need to fill in. I'm going to build some rooms. That's what this door is. Going to have some rooms coming in on either side here. Uh, probably going to be blocked off right here so that this is not exposed. But uh, I'll probably have room on this side as well. Going to have quite a few rooms in here um, on either side. And then over this way, I think we have a another set of stairs that just kind of go up into the open area here. And we go around this way. Of course, I put all this gray carpeting in. Go around this way, and I have a little underwater observation area here. Now, I was kind of hoping that I could build this water area here and have a bunch of squid spawning in here since we're so high up. But I have yet to see a single squid spawn in here, so it doesn't look like it's going to work. Uh, I was thinking that maybe I might try to catch a guardian and bring one over here. I don't know if you can use name tags on those guys. Um, I don't even know if you can catch them. But I think it would be really cool if I could bring one over here. I did see Etho catch an elder guardian. Um, that would be really cool if I could bring one over here, use a name tag on him, and just have him swimming around in here all the time. Uh, but, yeah, got this little area here. And I'm actually going to carpet this area as well. Um, so, let's see here. I'm thinking about maybe getting some prismarine blocks and oh somebody was slain uh replacing this diorite here with prismarine and maybe using cyan stained carpeting over here uh, kind of covering that out with that gray there i'll leave that gray there and put this all as cyan i think that would look pretty neat um, of course i got these sea lanterns here 
in the floor. They'll be covered up by the carpeting. Now, I originally I had some up here where these blocks are, but I took them out because it made it almost impossible to see through this glass. Can't really see a whole lot as it is, but uh, with the uh, sea lanterns there, it made it impossible. So you do see I've got some dirt out there, and I've got some sea lanterns out there. I can't even talk. I'm getting distracted here. Got some sea lanterns out there. Uh, yeah, and I'm probably going to put a couple of chests right here and on this side, though I don't really know why, uh, more for looks than anything. Um, not really going to store stuff in there. And of course, this just goes back around. This just goes all the way around in a circle. So we're going to head on up to the top level of this thing. Um, as soon as I figure out where the stairs are, <laughs> they're over this way. We just go all the way up, and I've got this stairwell here. Um, nothing fancy, just kind of threw it together here in about five minutes. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I think it looks all right. But up here is why I needed all the dirt. And as you can see, I filled this entire top area in up here. So I've got this big old grass area in. And I've got the water over here, this little swimming pool, I guess you could call it. Um, like I said, I was hoping squid would spawn in here, but none have. And uh, it kind of goes over, and you can see the little observation area over there. And... Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to get maybe uh, a guardian over here, or maybe some squid will spawn or something like that. Uh, maybe I'll even try to catch a squid and name one. No, you can use name tags on squid. I'm hoping you'll be able to do it on guardians. That would be really, really cool. So what I plan on doing up here, of course, is I'm going to build a house up here, and I'm going to have some trees and things like that. Um, I'm probably going to go with a modern-style house. And I've been looking at some of Corrales' houses, uh, so I think I might pick one of his styles, one of his tutorials, and just kind of follow that, build one of his house designs up here. Sort of my way of paying homage to Corrales, since he does play on Hermitcraft with Biffa. Um, I think that would be pretty neat. Uh, my original spawn house was based on one of his starter house designs, so I think I'll kind of carry on that tradition. And you can see we have quite a view up here. We can see all the way to the edge of the view distance, which I think is about 10 chunks. Um, I know it's pretty low. And we see the uh, mine hole, the uh, chunk that I dug out over there. And there's some lights right over there. It's a cave, I think. And I have a lot of these weird lighting glitches up here, um, right there. And that is actually an area that I dug out some dirt. But I don't have a torch over there. There's no lava over there. Just that lighting glitch. And there's one over there that's been there since I started on the server. And it looks like another one has popped up right there. And possibly right over there on that side. That is really strange. And I've got that one there. Um, there is an area over there I have a bunch of torches. But pretty sure that one is not one of them. All the torches are right around that hole with the lava there. And I think that where the crosshair is and that where the crosshair is is also a lighting glitch. That one is an actual torch. So I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. There's just these weird random spots that are just lit up. And I don't really know why. So yeah, that's 1.8 for you, I guess. Um, I actually was just in my single player world and there were a couple of spots where I noticed that as well. And unfortunately I had one on my skeleton farm, so that is going to be a problem. I've tried everything I know how to get rid of those, and they just don't seem to go away. I went over there and put torches. I've done block updates, everything I can think of, and they just they keep coming back. So I don't know what the deal is with that. So yeah, that's pretty much what I got. And like I said, I'm going to build a house here, a modern style house. Going to have some trees and everything up here. Kind of a nice little uh, resort area, so to speak. Uh, I'll try to decorate it up and pretty it up as much as I can. And that will just about complete this build. Um, with just the exception of some carpeting and things like that. And then I'm going to go working underground. I've got some stuff I want to do underground here. Um, and I haven't really planned that out just yet. So that's something I'll be working on a little bit on and off camera, as well as in and out of creative and survival. Uh, just trying to figure out how I want to do that underground. Basically, I want to put farms under there. Um, all these farms here are going to get moved. 
So I'm going to have the wheat farm and the potato farm, the carrot farm and all that stuff down there. I'm going to move the animals down there, have a cactus farm and pretty much everything, a chicken cooker and all that other stuff. I want to have that all underground as well and accessible from the same area. Kind of everything self-contained in one little area. Um, I thought about trying to do that up here, maybe putting some of those farms up here, but I just don't think it's going to be feasible. I just don't think there's the room to do it. Um, be really cool though if I could, but oh well, it is what it is. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this thing. Um, it has actually become kind of a, a thing here on the server. Um, I have not revealed the location of my base yet. I need to go down and get some food. Anyway, I've not revealed the coordinates of this base yet, and I've got several people constantly asking me, where's your base? Where's your base? Well, I don't have another tunnel set up to it yet, um, so it's kind of a long trip over land. Um, I do have a hidden tunnel, which I'm not going to tell anybody where that's at, but I'm going to go ahead and forget that I'm coming down here to get food. Let's see, do I have any? No, I don't. <laughs> All right, so let me jump back up here. And where is my food chest? Right here. Grab us some steaks. Have a nice little steak dinner. Ah, much better. So, yeah, anyway, it has become some, somewhat of a server-wide joke here. Uh, or a challenge, as some people maybe have decided to call it. Where is Canine's base, they want to know. And I have yet to reveal it, like I said. But I am finally going to reveal the coordinates to my base here. So I'm going to stand as close to the middle of this as I can. Right here on this block in the water. And I'm going to reveal it by hitting F3. Ready? There it was. There's the coordinates to my base. <laughs> so you can't say I haven't showed off the coordinates to my base. Uh, so there's one uh, member on here, Matt. Uh, there's my coordinates. So good luck. I'm not going to tell you where my nether tunnel is. And I am a long ways away from spawn, so <laughs> good luck. That's all I can say. So this is going to be a very short video. I just wanted to show off the base, show you the progress I've made on it, and, of course, reveal the coordinates. And now I'm going to go hide all my valuables, <laughs> find some place to put all my valuable stuff somewhere. And actually, I already know exactly where I'm going to put it, where I'm going to put it. Let me get back up here. Why am I going up there? Because... Everything's down here. I'm actually going to work on moving stuff up here as well, too. Um, so I'm going to do that off camera. And um, uh, well, that's pretty much it, I think. That's all I really wanted to do in this episode was just kind of take a look at it and reveal its location finally. So let me go over here and get my valuable stuff. Iron and gold and redstone and coal. And I'm going to have to find a place to put it all. So, yeah, anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Sure do appreciate it. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. Also, if you want to get on the server here with us and check this space out face-to-face -face firsthand, just head on over to Biffa's Patreon page. That is patreon.com slash biffa2001. And you can find all the information you need for getting on the server and also... Don't forget to go check out Biffa's channel. If you're not subscribed to him, why not? I don't understand why you're watching this video if you're not subscribed to Biffa. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Sure do appreciate it. My name is Angry Canine, and I will see you next time.